Hello everyone, welcome back to Tabs. My name is Antac. Today, uh, I was thinking, what could we do to make a pretty interesting, entertaining video? And I thought, you know, we've got the god powers, right? The new dev tools. Uh, but there's one specifically that we haven't really played around with yet. And today I thought it would be really fun to take pretty much all ranged units, make them fire rapidly fast and super fast at each other, cheerleading cheerleadified what's the word i don't know hyperspeed and then pit them against all the other ranged units and uh have a good old-fashioned time with that so that's what we're doing today i hope you enjoyed today's video let's do it they look a little terrified first up i thought we'd use the potioners because the potioners are quite hilarious but i thought they're pretty good we need to give them a good test and so we got a bunch of scarecrows, and I don't know how this is gonna go. This is this is most likely gonna be pretty lopsided, but I kind of assumed that you know they would make them drunk before they can launch them off. But that's pretty much how I kind of thought that it might go. <laughs> Too many birds on the screen. It, two victories. Did you hear that? Uh, let's use something a little bit more reasonable. Okay, I think it's safe to say that I can't use those things at all, ever, in this video. <laughs> so, other than that. So, let's do potioners versus archers and see what happens here because, you know, just, I don't know. They're gonna, they're gonna die, but then I, are they gonna get up? Yeah, see? I think the potioners could win this. Yeah! That's a little surprising. I... I thought they could win, but I mean, it was close. Look at this. There's only three left. This is fun. All right, we got eight catapults versus eight Halloween catapults. Uh, I think this is... Ooh! Oh! That was not how I thought that would go. That's so close, I want to do it again. Wait, let's do it in full speed this time. Aha! Uh -huh. Best two or three, here we go! Let's see what happens! Who will win? This is for all the pumpkins! Aha! Uh -huh. The pumpkins retain their pumpkin victory? I don't, that's stupid, that doesn't make sense. Not really quite a straight line, but I really have no idea how this is gonna go. Oh yeah, so they can't kill in one hit. So, okay, I thought maybe the candle guys could kill those in one hit, but they can't. So that's not the greatest thing to test them out against. Pretty sure they're gonna get killed off of one hit off of these snakes. Oh, you know, the snake archer could be pretty good to pit up. You know what we need though? We need like, we need 50 of these guys. We need a lot of them on the battlefield to really get a feel for this. Um, you know, the test of this, and then let's get something a little bit better at facing snakes. Oh yes, snakes versus firework archers. This way we have more and we can actually see more of them shoot at once. Oh my gosh, look at how many snakes are on the battlefield. Oh, snakes! Oh, snakes! That's like a, I want to say that as like a, you know, some people say, holy, you know, the, so holy smokes, oh my gosh, good night! But I want to start saying, oh, snakes! <laughs> That'd be kind of funny and weird to say. Let's just do watches versus watches. Just to see what happens. Oh my gosh. Look at how many arrows they flung in that short of time. That was not at all how I expected this would go. What in the world? I did not expect that to happen. What's going on where these arrows are flying straight down? I, I, it's crashing my game. I did not expect that to happen. Going primitive right now. Stone throwers versus spear throwers. I think spear throwers would win. I was wrong. <laughs> Whoa! I couldn't even pause it fast enough. Da Vinci tank versus eight ballistas. Whoa! That was sweet! I couldn't even pause it fast enough. <laughs> Dude, the Da Vinci tank's nuts! 
What happens if you cheerlead already sped up projectile units? Probably nothing. But that was nuts! That was my favorite one yet. What happens if we take two sensei versus a bunch of ninjas? What's gonna happen? Oh my gosh! Are you kidding me? They have greater range. The ninjas don't even get in range. Let's move them up. Let's see if we do it like that. Oh, there we go. Okay. That was that's pretty it's still pretty crazy though that they can take out that many ninjas in that short amount of time. Whoa, look at how close that is. That guy's alive. That's awesome, dude. That's I don't know why that's so cool, but that's like really freaking cool to me. Sensei, Sensei, Sensei. I don't know why I'm doing that. Two Artemis versus two Artemis. Can't even control themselves. Let's do. Okay, I know this is supposed to be like ranged, but like I just really want to see how fast they can kill all these clubbers. Because that's so cool to me. I don't know. Yeah, that's a cool thing, man. It's a weird thing to say. Oh, they can actually kind of control themselves. I'm surprised they haven't shot each other yet. Oh, never mind. I think they have, and I, we just don't notice it. That's pretty crazy. I know it seems like an odd combination. Musket men versus balloon archers. But I thought this could look interesting. Especially with the balloon archers. Oh, never mind. They all died. They all died. <laughs> Maybe we need, we need more. We need a couple more. Don't, don't all die right away. Stay alive, please. You can't stop the freaking musket men. Holy smokes. How many do I need? The musket men are insane! Yo, wait a minute, Da Vinci Tank. Okay, that was like no contest. But not. They shot Da Vinci in there. That's what just happened. They're like minigun units now. Whoa! The musket ones are my- the musket men are my favorite ones so far. What can we use? Bomb throwers? <gasps> Dude, no way. Freaking bomb throwers are gonna be nuts. If they could survive. Let's just do, let's just do that. Just wanna see how- Oh, they shot him up there! What? Jeez Louise. Are they shooting through like multiple units at one time? Is that what's happening? I just want to see how many bombs they can throw at once. That's so much to ask. There we go, we did it. Can they kill the harpooners? Oh yeah, they totally can. Wow, the musket men are like one of the best ones. What about blunderbuss guys? They're gonna blow themselves all over the map. They can't even, it's ineffective with the blunderbuss guys because they can't even get close enough. And the musket men are just shooting him off the edge. <laughs> That's awesome. I think they'll all most likely die, but they could win this. Oh, hands down, they won't. We only really need like one line of them. Swordcasters. Oh, that was so close. That's two of three. We gotta do it. They get so, uh huh. They get so close. This is a close one right here. Muskets. Dude, this is really surprising to me. I did not think that the musket men would be like the best one from this test. I thought for sure that they would not do that well against certain things. Oh. Whoa. Let's make it even. 37 to be 37. Ah, uh, when it's even, the musket men win. One more time, just to make sure. Mm hmm. They got the range. They got the range going for them. 
All right, what else can we use? We got bomb cannons. I mean, it could be fun, but I'm pretty sure the musket men are gonna defeat him. Oh, maybe if I make it proper line, that, that you know that always helps things. There we go. Oh, <laughs> hey, that's 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 fun. <laughs> okay, Cupid. What about Cupid? Cupid shoots pretty fast. But he doesn't have the range as the... He doesn't have the range of the musket man. Okay. It's not enough. They don't fire fast enough. Even sped up, they don't fire fast enough. Euler. Euler was nerfed though. Euler might not be that great. Look at how long it... The damage though is a lot higher. Can they do it? Oh. This, uh, guys, I'm very surprised by this. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, that was fun to do. We've got other things we could do too, but um, that was really, that was a fun video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I'll see you in the next one.